that was a big part of one of the keys yesterday, having 60 minutes worth of action. And today, Bartell, the captain! Talk about depth of scoring. How about the big man? Gonna say today, you like the way LU has broken out into the offensive zone and just created great, good quality shots on Kazakov. No traffic needed for big number 91. Back-to-back -back games now with the goal. And that's a guy you want to see get going to on the offensive end as well, getting his fourth goal now of the season. Out in the crease, good effort there by Albers to do just that. Yeah, and that's got to be the MO. Has a great chance. Saw this a lot yesterday from the Seawolves. They would get the puck in deep and try to feather a pass to a man in front. And Emirelli, he gets his second of the weekend now. He got the scoring going yesterday for L or sorry, for the Seawolves as well. Yeah, Amarelli acting as the leadoff hitter for Stony Brook, leading things off in the scoring column for the Seawolves in both game one and game two. What a pass from behind the net to find him in the slot. Liberty working to the Ozone. Bartel's open. Bartel make it two. Great setup play and great pass. Yeah. Finds a way to get to Bartel. You thought the defenseman was going to be able to poke this one away. But excellent job there by Audenbright. Still had enough oomph on it to get it through. And then Bartel, he already has Kazakov moving to the near side, so he fires a brilliant wrister far side, and he makes no mistake. Good look for Liberty. No one on the receiving end of the pass. However, Cox now out in front. Rebound chance. Smith is there. That's what you want to see consistently from this LU group. You saw it yesterday, and it pays dividends again. Traffic for in case a rebound comes out from a shot for our wide, and then you're able to boom, pop it. Great job by Cox, throwing this on net, hits a body, shooting to create, and Smith makes no mistake getting his second of the year. Trying to put it on cage. Larson once again, that one's gonna find the back of the cage. Larson, Beach Glassford stick side, and we talked about it. This is a Stony Brook offense that is dangerous, especially when you give them power play chance after power play chance. And the penalty comes back to bite LU. And it was only a matter of time. Great shot from Larson and Data, creating a little bit of traffic, just enough to deceive Glassford. He can't close up the wickets fast enough. You don't want to give a, C or a Stony Brook offense that's kind of been Sk uh, skittering a little bit to start. It's a good look here, and we're tied. That, just like that. Wow. Has this game turned around in a hurry? Really has. Great job by the Sea Wolves, showing great effort. Similar mo that we talked about for the Flames. There's right rebound chance shows up. Tons of traffic, and it's able to be pot in the back of the net by Data, the captain. To Pomerlo. Back to Bartel. Bartel with room. Bartel will let it go. Hat trick for the captain. What a weekend. Matt Bartel. First hat trick, I believe, for the captain as well. And great to see him take advantage. Like you said, Barnico without his stick. Surprising a Seawolf defender doesn't give him one. And look at that. This is not going to get talked about enough. But look who crashes, Olsen and Versalono on yep. both sides, yep. right? Making a narrow window. And Bartel with a beauty. Finch was looking for Pollock. Turnover in the defensive zone for Liberty. And the one guy you can't turn it over to. The best offensive weapon for the Seawolves, Minerva. He capitalizes on a big scoring chance off of, unfortunately, a huge error by the youngster Finch. I believe you and Rhett were talking about it at the beginning of the first period in game one. Liberty with a couple defensive zone turnovers in yep. that game that didn't bite them. However, nasty habit that rears its head once again in this third period, and eventually it will burn the flames. Too many opportunities to do just that than you would like. At a certain point, 
Liberty beating themselves, but they will respond. Back and forth we go as Liberty will pull out ahead once again. Doesn't take long for Liberty to go back out to that one goal advantage. An excellent job there by Versalona. Wins the puck battle here on the near wall. Great backhand sauce and Olsen always going to the net with a head full of steam. And he capitalizes potting this one. And Liberty now, like you said, back to that one goal advantage. Seawolves looking for some open ice in front. Able to skate past one. Nice save, Glassford can't find the second. Stony Brook finds an opening and like they have all afternoon. You give them an inch, they take a mile. We're tied up in the LIC. Yeah, Erminelli does it all himself, trying to be able to get past Bite. Uh, does a good job with a good move because Bite misplaced it. One shot won't go, but the rebound is there for him, and he makes Glassford and the Flames pay, tying this one back up. Wow. Quite a weekend for Arminelli in his own right. Yeah, third goal of the weekend, second yep. in this game. Not able to connect with the freshman was Kovic. Kovic keeping in at the blue line once again. Liberty's been so good in that regard. Cycling possessions through. Finch makes one miss. Finch wow. drive hole! Talk about some moves. Said it multiple times. LU keeping it in, and this is why Finch is so highly regarded. Undresses Boris, and boom, beats Barnacle five hole. Fantastic job by Finch. And like Connor said a minute ago, Sony Brook hasn't been able to lead in this game because every time they seem to tie it up, LU comes back with an answer a couple minutes later. They absolutely have. Once again, Liberty receives it at the blue line. This one off target, but Liberty doing a good job killing time. The four check is heavy. Nakagawa looking to send it ahead. Nakagawa is going to have to chase. Not a lot of time left. Palmer Lowe, the first to it in Liberty. Secures the sweep. Ryan Finch, the go ahead to finally end things here in Lynchburg as the Flames will hold on. And a huge thing that happened first off Jackson Glassford first win yep. as a flame netminder finally comes through great to see that but yeah also a gutsy win things didn't go perfectly for LU after a dominating showing last night but good to see them continue to work hard and try to battle through this game because when it's a rivalry game everything goes out the window and for LU good to see them come out on the other side of this but for Stony Brook Lots, I know it's not what you wanted to see, another one goal loss, but this team is gonna find their sea legs, so to speak, shortly as the season progresses. Yeah, you knew the Seawolves team was better than that last performance represented, and they're showing that here in game two. Liberty with the 6-5 win. So for Pat Strong and our entire crew, I'm Connor Young saying so long from Lynchburg, Virginia, where the final score is 6-5 Liberty. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app.